Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Strong Bad Episode 3, 4, <laughs> quiet, Strong Bad Episode 4, Dangerous 3. When last left off, we're going to talk to Renardo. Check out that rocket over there. Yeah, looks pretty sweet. Of course it does. That's the rocket. you totally stole my design. Remember that one time I had that dream about a spaceship that runs on tomato soup? I told you all about it. No. All right. I Once you get that. the formula back to cutesy buttons, we're gonna be rich, and you can finally retire in style. I think I'm gonna buy me that collection of matching spandex turbans I've had my eye on. Okay, spandex well, turbans? Maybe you can just retire. What oh, that's not. Those credentials again? He's got a PhD in formulology, an MHD in rocket launchology, and a TBD in advanced predictability. Well, his ologies check out, but I still say he's sorely lacking in the ography and oolness departments. Poolness. Fine! I didn't want to touch your stupid science any dang way! Chalkboard. Uh, boxing gloves on chalkboards don't have quite the cringe effect as fingernails. I would disagree. Whoa, ruby. Check out the size of that ruby. Don't worry, I'm not gonna steal it. I'm just saying. Pretty big ruby. What is this? Ah, the pioneers of space travel. Lovingly commemorated here in the pages of this official space flight document. These brave astronauts <laughs> are an inspiration to us all. Yeah, screw you, Neil Armstrong. I ordered one of these from the back of a comic book once. Only the ruby was plastic. And the rocket was a toilet paper roll. And the comic book was a napkin. Those Sounds fantastic. Like okay. Be nice, bro. I gotta say, you turned out okay, Experimento. At least you're not still trying to contact hot alien races in the hopes of interplanetary prom dates. All oh, right, that was me. <laughs> All right. That sure is some kind of ruby-powered rocket. Yeah, can it fly? Somebody broke in here and stole your computer disk of highly important launch codes? That's rough, man. Sure, maybe you should have made a backup. So you're some kind of expert on formulas now, huh? Okay, mister, you can't take a plastic bag full of scorpions into space. What's it gonna take to get you to recreate this top secret formula for me? Somebody stole a disk of important launch codes for your rocket and you want me to get them back? That sounds fair. You get me That's my formula all. and I'll find your no. disk. Sounds like it's his problem. That's right. Bubble, bubbly, bubble, bubble. What is it? What's going on? Ronaldo, what is he bubbling about? It's ingredients. He's figuring out what he needs to make the formula. A bubbly liquid, a flower from the rare stick and knee tree, and some yellow hair? Nice job. Looks like we'll be scouring the streets of Brain Blow City tonight. Don't, don't say that again. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're done here. I can't believe Brain Blow City isn't the default location in my travel log. I better add it now. Let's put that in here. There we go. The Maritimes. Brain Blow City. A town as hard as steel and twice as gray. She's like a fine lady type. Treat hey, the wall. And she'll make you cupcake shake. Oh, okay, like that's what it was. The brick wall. But treat her yeah. wrong. And she'll kick you in the knees, step on your face with a stiletto heel, Ooh. take your wallet, and totally ruin your credit score. Yeah, your woman scares me. I'll just wait here by the wall where it's safe. You go on ahead. Okay, Ronaldo. Cutesy Buttons better be ready to fork over several sacks of cash for rescuing her and getting her rainforest formula. Well, it's not about the money for me, Dangerous. I just want to be a hero one more time before I retire. You'll always be a hero to me, Ronaldo. I'm comfortable. 
<laughs> Very. I heard a rumor that Brain Blow City is the only place left in the world where the rare stick a knee tree can be. Oh, found. it's a stick. That's mm. fantastic. That means we won't have to travel the globe for this case like we did back in 91 when we were on the trail of the two legged man. Yeah, I guess I really didn't think that one through too carefully. The two legged man. Alright. What do we got around here? Okay, well, we'll get that after, because I want to see the whale. Psst, code blue. I need some info. I don't know. Show off what you got. But I'm not in Rome. That'll be 2,000 yen. <laughs> okay, what other crazy do you have? I got the burger and french fries. I leave the two up on the counter. Do I get any change? Please, stay the way you are. Psst, Agent W. What's the inside word? Turn around. The toy alien has been flooded. Hmm, yes. I have no idea what that means. Uh, okay, I'll take your lock and beat you with it. Come on now, let's not make this personal. <laughs> no more games. Take this rock. The eagle is in the pantry. Take the hunger monster. Try a half-hearted taco meal. Psst, are you the one they call Deep Spout? I'm <laughs> dead. Don't forget to bring out your power tools. Right, of course. Bling yes. perfect sense. Agent W, what's the inside word? Turn on out. The toilet. Wait, it's flooded. Hmm, yes. I have no idea what that means. Oh, blubbos. That's odd. Shark pond. Man, those sharks Jump are in. some way under the water sharks. Man. Guess I can't. I can't quite reach it. I saw a box. I want that box. Use your gun. I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna do. Interrogating inanimate objects isn't as helpful as you might think. Well, you can get it down. Well, I guess we're just gonna yeah, use the scissors. Too thick for these scissors to cut through. Air safety scissors. How about the plant? The plant seems like it'd be useful to throw at. Uh, there's no reason to randomly put a plant. Fine. Don't we have the box? The cool car. My trusty Dange car ask. I just had all its cool gadgets upgraded to cool, cool gadgets. Be patient, my high performance pal. Your time to shine will come soon enough. Foreshadowing! Alright. I noticed we didn't get a metal detector yet. I'm wanted outside of Brain Blow City for undisclosed violations. If I go beyond this point, I could be shot on sight. Oh, you legitimately won't go past that sign. Okay, whatever. Then. Well, that's unfortunate. It's a good thing the car's here. All right, let's get this rare flower. Yeah, er it looks super this rare. This must be the rare stick and knee flower that Professor Experimento needs for the formula. I'll just carefully remove this last delicate blossom. And my pants. It does look kind of plain now. There's some dead branches hanging off. Can we trim it? I could probably trim a little off the top with these, but I don't think they can cut much else. Okay, I actually meant to click on the stick. These safety scissors are probably sharp enough to cut through oatmeal, melted butter, or freshly baked milkshakes. But there's freshly no baked, way eh? they can take down this mighty timber. All right, how about we interrogate it with milkshake? our nunchuck gun? Interrogating it's not inanimate. It has feelings, maybe. Hey, what's that way? This way, you mean? Yeah. Visiting hours? Not now. I'm not really interested in having a face-to-face -face with guys I sent to the pokey anyway. They do not like it when I call it the pokey. Ah, Seems the old like their brain problem. blow city prison. I can't tell you how many times I've broken in and out of this place. Seriously, how many? I can't tell you. I'm under a gag order from the courts. Interesting. Alright, what else do we get around here? Probably another sign? Yep. 
All right, so <laughs> it's all the way up there, is it? Oh, cutesy buttons! Hold still. You've got a little something right on the side there. Oh, what are you doing, you animal? Stay away from my hair with those things. Marzipan, I'm supposed to get some of your hair in this scene. I told you I won't let you cut my hair for this movie. Come on, you're ruining the shot. I don't care. Actresses. So mean. Okay, so how do we get yellow hair? Hey, mind if I grab a chunk of your hair? I most certainly do. It's taken me all summer to grow my hair out, and there is no way I'm cutting it off for you. Okay. Who cares about your stupid rainforest? Okay, we reset that, actually. Well, Let's be nice. Let's see what she says then. Buttons. That's a f no, Thanks. same thing. No. Oh. We haven't we haven't met the cheat yet, have we? No. Hmm. We have a bubbly drink. We got the flower. So now you need hair. I still have your plan. You better not do anything to harm Credenza. I'm keeping my eye on him. Yeah, you do that. What if we take the coach's There's hair? There's nothing on him I want to cut. Except uh -huh. maybe a deal for 80% of the profits. Alright, let's try again. Would you mind turning around for just a sec? Not while you have those scissors in your hand. Ah, forget it then. Well, well, maybe if I do. That's white. No. That's white. Okay, well, I see Shark Pond. So, can I be clever about this? No, it's not gonna be really clever about it. All right, let's go back to the lab. Yellow hair. How are we gonna get that? Okay, we obviously have to do something here. Use the nunchuck gun on her. Freeze! Hey, don't point that thing at me. Lucky thing you're my meal ticket, lady. I'll spare you this time. Okay, how about if we? Is that a stick any flower for me? How romantic. I thought they were extinct. Uh, no. This is a stink -a butt flower for my mom. How are we going to get her hair? I think you have some gum in your hair. Let me just cut that out for you. That's impossible. I use a special herbal shampoo that makes my hair naturally resistant to sticky substances. And decent looking hairstyles, apparently. <laughs> Come on, let me have some of your hair. No. Hey, mind if I grab it? I'm a sir. Okay, um. What do you think? I think. Diet Brown, are you trying to tell me something? Yes. Of course not, Dollface. At least. Not anything the stitching on that dress hasn't already told you. <laughs> How about... The trinket. Hey, cutesy. Ever seen anything like this? Hmm, my sister? It's not hard. Okay, we already saw that. Um, Throw it out the window. Throw something out the window. Throw a dog out uh, the window. You're right. I know exactly what to do now. Nah, there's no reason... I can think of reasons to do a lot of things. Maybe. Maybe. Come on, we're Shark Pond. There it is. Okay, stupid plant. Can you swim? Because you're about to get watered! Alright. Aha! Now 
Paige just used the scissors on her. Thank you, cheap buttons. Why don't you take a look out the window? Shouldn't you be out getting my formula instead of hanging around the office? No, seriously, Marzipan. I think you should look out the window. Aye, credenza. Aye. Done to you. Hang in there, little one. Oh, that's just mean. Got it. You go get credenza right now, or I'll. You'll what? I rescued your plan from those bloodthirsty sharks. Or leaf thirsty. Thank you, Dangerous. Now I think you should keep looking for that formula. Apparently something yeah, happened. It's safer out there with the sharks anyway. Apparently a pencil went to his ear. Alright, so we have the formula. No, you have the ingredients for the formula. Ah, that's what I meant. Oh yeah, but his secret plans. So, I hear you become an expert in making formulas, huh? So I guess your area of expertise is in baby <laughs> formula, right? Because you're a baby? Oh, come on, you totally set me up for that one. Alright, well... Bubbly drink. Hey, look at that. I happen to have a carbonated liquid right here. Man, I'm good. I know it looks delicious, but it tastes more like one of Ronaldo's old gym socks. And trust me, you do not want to know how I became familiar with that particular taste sensation. But how'd you become particular? Your bubbly drink. Now make what the formula make. Ing. He needs the other ingredients, stupid. Okay, here you go. But man, you know what I had to go through to snip off Blondie's hair? That's right. So, uh, how's that formula coming there? Quiet, Ronaldo. Here is the stink flower. A one-of-a-kind biogenetic miracle flower with the potential to eliminate sickness and disease from the surface of the planet forever and ever. That sounds awesome. I grind it into a goopy paste so I can take it back to some nerdy dame and get myself paid. It's gonna explode. It is not it's going the to formula. explode. He's done it, dangerous. You're okay, Experimento. Me and you, we cool. Let's get this crap back to cutesy buttons. To the dangerous cave. I mean, office. To my office. But what about his launch codes? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Apparently not. Well, dollface, it was a dangerous and difficult mission. But after narrowly dodging herds of bullets, hordes herds? of henchmen, and hordes of punches, I was able to recover your formula, and I didn't even break it and was forced to recreate it in a scientific lab even once. Ahem. <clears throat> oh, oh, sorry. Oh my gosh, she's gone! Yes. But where did she go? You don't think? No time for that now. Cutesy Buttons is in trouble. There's got to be a clue somewhere around this I wonder office. where. Pull on the phone. Yes. Hello? Oh, we've seen this. Nothing. Oh, the get up noise. Ah, oh, the clues in the paintings. Well, dangerous too. Left the party in quite a hurry. What do you think he's up to? Oh, maybe he's planning a surprise party for my retirement. We just had your retirement party. You did? What a surprise! <laughs> you friggin' idiot! Let's check the paintings. These paintings really tie the room together. No, they don't. There are two completely different types of paintings. I'm just trying to kill time. Ah, uh, you know what? We'll pause for now. When we come back, we'll continue playing Strong Bad Episode 4, Dangerous 3. Number Until three. then, everyone. Till then.